Nessa Sunshine here and today we are getting into this look featuring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So if you want to see how to do this look, well first subscribe to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. I have my brows and my eyes with a set base on. First go into the shadow Sienna with a blending brush. This is the Morphe R37 blending brush. I don't want to just dig my brush in there. Gently tap it directly on the brush and I want to tap off the excess as well. Now I will look down into my mirror with my eyelid just smooth like this. Start in the center of the crease above the crease area and I'm going to blend and swipe motions back and forth. I picked up some more of that sienna shade. Tap off that excess and in very light feathery swipe motions we will build the color on the outer corner in the crease above the crease. We're going to move in those back and forth swiper motions down to the base of the eyelid. Holding my brush at a slanted motion, I am blending in circular motions in the outer corner. Start to blend in swiper motions in a natural sort of eye shape in the crease above the crease area. Just blend, blend, blend. And this blending that I'm doing in the crease above the crease area is with a direct blend. So I am blending directly with the pointed part of my blending brush. Sometimes I like to open my eye really wide so that I can see if the color is actually moving higher than my actual creases in my eyelid. So I know that my eyeshadow will still be seen throughout the day. <laughs> I'm not adding any more of the shadow, but I want to make sure that I am buffing out all of the edges. Go ahead and add Sienna on the other eye and we'll get into Shadow number two. Once you've done this eye, check both eyes, kind of look into your mirror and ask yourself, is this equal? Did I add more to my other side than I did the other side? If you need to add more shadow, make sure you add more. Just blend, be gentle, be soft. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Nougat to achieve my cut crease. So I like to place my concealer on my hand. I'm gonna take the Nabla White Rose Cut Crease Maker. We'll take a brush into our concealer. To cut our crease, we want to look straight into our mirror, open our eyes quite wide. Let's place the concealer right in the middle above the crease in the lid. After we've done that, we can start to move down into the inner corner, move down from there and try and move slowly if this is your first time cutting your crease. I, After I've made my mark, I like to uh, take the concealer all the way down to the bottom of this tail. Make sure your line is nice and neat. On the outside, I like to just blend very lightly with my ring finger, and then I have my, my cut crease. Do all of that to the other side. Go into the shadow glistening. To apply the shimmer, I'm actually going to use a pencil brush. This is the Nabla White Rose Small Pencil Brush. Covering my entire pencil brush with that shimmer shade. I find that using pencil brushes to apply shimmer shades have been really working out well for me. We want to make sure we stay in the lines. Like we're in preschool. Makeup preschool. Go ahead and add that shimmer to the other side. So going back into Sienna and our R37 brush, press this eyeshadow to my outer corner. I'm pressing it directly. So gently press, pressing, 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 pressing. I didn't tap off any excess, but now I'm going to tap off, tap off the excess. Holding my brush at a slant, I am going to move in swiper motions and blend that into our pretty shimmer shade. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and it's in it's in black. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that liner. I'm going to wear the Lotus Lashes Yarzabeth Lash. Put on our lashes, pop on your lashes, or mascara and curl, whatever you prefer. And we will come back, finish the lower lash line together. And there is a makeup miracle. I have, by the way, the uh, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nude and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sunscape Lip Gloss. This is the Nabla Dab and Smudge Brush from the White Rose Brush Collection. Taking that right into Sienna, focus it on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Do that on the other side. For mascara, I'm using the Cargo 3 Triple Action Mascara. Yes, three triple action. And then this is the Cargo Perfect Liner. It's a cool eyeliner. I should have put this before I put the shadow, but it's okay. I'm just going to put a little bit in my waterline 
So I'm just putting that in my waterline, but not like too much, just a little bit. I want to connect that wing. Go ahead and apply your mascara to finish off this eye look and do that to the other side. And that will complete this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Nessa Sunshine. And if you've made it this far in the video, comment down below brown because today I am wearing my normal color eyes. I usually wear color contacts. So, um, anyway, yeah, these are my normal colored eyes. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye. Bye now.